Good afternoon, doctors. My name is Lisette William, and my topic is esophageal atresia and tracheoesophageal fistula. Tracheoesophageal fistula and an esophageal atresia here. It's the most common anatomy um, in children, and one of the conditions involves the upper esophagus, which ends in a blind pouch, and the TEF is connected to the distal esophagus. You also want to keep in mind the association with the vertebral anom anomalies, um, renal anomalies, radial limb deformities, cardiac anomalies, and you want to get imaging studies to rule any of these other conditions out. This is a fairly common congenital disorder that family physicians should consider in the differential diagnosis of a neonate who develops feeding difficulties and respiratory distress in the first few days of life. Esophageal atresia is a congenital birth defect that causes the esophagus to develop abnormally. When this happens, the upper esophagus does not connect with the lower esophagus and stomach. An application in medicine has an esophageal atresia that is a congenital medical condition for birth defect, which affects the alimentary tract. It causes esophagus to be in a blunt and a push rather than connecting normally to the stomach. Or it caused by an abnormal embryological development of the esophagus. It is characterized by a congenital obstruction of the esophagus with interruption of the continuity of the esophageal wall. It is often associated with a fistula between the tracheum and the esophagus. And sometimes they do a study and they find there's a connection between the breathing tube and the feeding area called the TE fistula. Uh, can you discuss that in a general sense? A tracheoesophageal fistulae are associated with a disease called esophageal atresia. The esophagus is the tube which passes from the mouth to the stomach and carries all the food that the baby eats. In fact, the esophageal fistula we have that it represents an abnormal opening between the tracheal and the esophagus. Because if we have incontinental, the tracheoesophageal fistula can arise due to failed effusion of the tracheoesophageal ridge during the third week of embryological development. In tracheoesophageal fistula, it runs between the trachea and the esophagus. This connection may or may not have a central cavity. If it does, then food within the esophagus may pass into the trachea. Or alternatively, air in the trachea may cross into the esophagus. In symptoms, we have the uh, frothy white bubbles in the mouth, coughing or shocking when feeding, vomiting, cyanosis, especially when baby feeding, respiratory distress, and very run your abdomen. In advantage, we have that it has improvement, and in disadvantage, we have the death or surgical repair is associated with complications.